Hi, I'm Mona. In this video, I will show you how to handle the metrum electrodes for two-phase surfactant titration. We offer two different electrodes for two-phase surfactant titration, the surfactant refill and the surfactant resistant. Besides the surfactant electrodes, you also need a reference electrode. We recommend the LLISE reference electrode. Let's take a look at the surfactant refill. During titration, the active sensor material is removed layer by layer. But as the active sensor material can be refilled, a virtually unlimited lifetime of the electrode is ensured. To refill the electrode, you need the surfactant refill paste. Let me show you how this is done. Screw the cover onto the electrode head. Place a spatula tip of the refill paste on top of the electrode. Mount the filling tool and press three times to compact the refill paste. Afterwards, remove the excess paste with a soft paper towel. Repeat this process if necessary. Finally, don't forget to start the electrode dry after a series of titrations. Be aware that the surfactant refill is not resistant to chlorinated solvents. For such titrations, we recommend the surfactant resistant. The sensor material of the surfactant resistant can be regenerated using sandpaper. To do so, cover the active part of the electrode with a fine sandpaper and rotate the electrode to roughen the surface. The surfactant resistance is shock sensitive. Do not use this electrode for titrations in solutions with a pH value higher than 10 or with a high salt concentration. Stir the electrode dry after a series of titrations. To learn more about how to perform two-phase surfactant titrations, check out the linked video. Thanks for watching.